Hey John here again. So I'm about to do an oil change on this car, which uh, I've had for it's an it's a 1980 Corvette. I bought it in uh, 1988, so it's a little over 30 years old for me owning it. And uh, as a second owner, but uh, the the car itself, you know, it, it ain't worth much nowadays. Uh, you know, it's worth more to me because you know I've had it since I was a kid, but. Uh, so I was just going to do an oil change on it and get it out. I just got just took the cover off. It's a little dirty. I know it doesn't look good, but um, so and the wife uses this more than I do. She does a grocery shopping, but the uh, the car had been redone years ago, probably 20 years ago. I went through it, frame off, you know, just uh, not that it was going to be worth anything, just because that's what I did. And I put this uh, suspension on there, this uh, uh, front suspension on there that's uh, completely different than the original. And I thought I'd show that, not an oil change or nothing, but uh, just because in case somebody has a car like this, an older one, again, they're not worth much, they're, uh, they're a dime a dozen really, but uh, I bought this car in North Carolina, like I said, 30 something years ago, and I did do a, a suspension thing, so I just thought, <laughs> that pedal's for my wife, she's a little short, so, um, so I just thought if, uh, you know, if anybody's got any, uh, you know, there's plenty of people that trick these things out trust me uh, I'm doing this video I just wanted to show uh, if you if, you know there's other ways in this this suspension goes really low it's one of those tunable suspensions uh, that you can suck this wheel well right down you know and I had it down and it looked cool it's like a jacked up vet had the rear up because the I, I have a rear suspension on it too that's adjustable I did that I might, uh, let me pull it in a pit and I'll show you the rear suspension and the front suspension are completely different from the original and when you lower the front and jack the back up looks pretty cool but uh, I just kinda got it leveled out right now just because I was tired of scraping stuff when you pull into a gas station or whatever uh, and she drives it so she drives it actually more than I do and uh, so you know you know how women are they just pull right in <laughs> so let me pull it over to pit and show you the suspension just because uh, like I said, if you, if you do have an older car like this and you want to change some stuff around, uh, well, actually, I don't even know if this, this company still exists, but this one kit I bought for 700 bucks back then, 20-something years ago, uh, it, it's, it's a pretty cool kit. Uh, so let me, let me pull this in and show you that. I will say, though, Corvette had uh, a little bit of, you know, that this car had sweet lines for the, for the time frame, it, it, you know, from the 1980s. Uh, everything was square and ugly. Uh, and this, you know, they still made cars with with these lines, and this is all stock. Uh, you know, I didn't do anything with the uh, body, or whatever. That's the way it came. So, my first car was a. This is my third car. I was just thinking about it. My first car was a 1971 Chevelle. My second car was a 1974 Nova. Wish I had that thing. It was just a little 350, but it was a hatchback, which I don't know if they're rare or not. But I mean, it looks like a regular Nova, but the whole you know, it's a hatchback. The whole trunk assembly window came up, which is pretty cool. I think I left that in the woods with a broken tie rod. And uh, the third car I bought was this one, and I kind of kept this one. But you know, that being said, like I said, just the just the lines on this car are pretty sweet. I still like the the, the look of this car. I mean, even though Corvette, you know, today has has really cool lines, but this one for me did the trick when I bought it uh, in 1988 just because uh, there wasn't a lot going on back then as far as you know lines like these where you know like I said this is all stock even the lip in the back the ground effects all that is stock I did update the suspension just because uh, you know I don't even know why I did that but and let me pull this anyways show you what the, that suspension looks like
been a while since it's been under here, but uh, I mean, other than yearly oil changes, so that whole leaf spring on the, you know, in the front here was never there. It was always coil over, and uh, if you see that uh, shot going up, it it uh, went through, you know, the old coil spring deal. Even these uh, these A arms came with a kit, uh, you know, completely different. But what I was talking about as far as tunable was you could see you know and that's why I wanted this kit just because uh, to have a tunable suspension for a car this old I thought just was a neat idea but again it, it came with uh, uh, um, you know I'm just looking around like surprised everything's rusting out not because there's road salt it's just surface rust but it's been a, over 20 years since I did this even the calipers are you know Again, it's not, it's just surface rust, but can't avoid it, I guess. Uh, so anyways, you can move these clips, or these uh, this suspension bolt, in for looser or tighter. You know, I got it all the way out for tight. Uh, the further you move it in, a little looser, you know, bouncy, bouncy type thing. Um, and also, you can jack these uh, bolts up. They, they kind of... Well, you get what I'm saying. The the A arm here, you know, it'll either squish it together or, you know, separate it more. And I I did have this down like really far, and it was it looked like a European car. But even the uh, even up there, the the A arms on the top are uh, included in the kit. And again, it was 700 bucks at the time. It was pretty pricey. But I don't know if they make this kit anymore. I'm sure they make some really radical stuff now. But uh, as you're looking around. I'm just I'm just showing you an option. I know this spring looks a little funky, but and there is daylight there where that uh, it's not exactly hitting hitting it. Uh, but when you move it in closer, obviously it jacks it down a little bit. But I probably should move it back to a softer suspension, but it is what it is. I'll I'll just leave it. And that's that. I mean, uh, this suspension is again it's. It's pretty old now. It's twenty something years old that, or you know, years ago that I put it on there. You see that uh, that bumper stop? I had that thing. I had this pretty lowered, you know, like an inch or two more, and it was almost hitting that. But that's where the spring would go through, where that shock comes through. And so I just wanted to point that out. If you're looking to do something different with your old, older suspension to improve the ride, I don't know if it actually improved the ride. Actually. Uh, but I just thought it was cool that it was a tunable suspension to lower or, you know, softer, more, sus you know, because nowadays they make a push button, you know, you push a button and you get a stiffer ride. You know, this is, a, this is like antique, but I just thought I'd point it out in case somebody is looking to do something with their old, with their old uh, Corvette or, you know, older car. You can buy these aftermarket stuff. And actually, that's the... Uh, that's the name of that company I used, uh, Vet Breaks Product. Uh, I can't even, uh, yep, well, they still got a phone number and everything. Again, it's been so long, I don't even know if those people are still in business. And then the rear suspension is back there. I did do uh, uh, something with that. And I, my kit doesn't go that far back, I'd have to pull it up. But uh, anyways, that's, that's also tunable. You can see... You know, the, that rod over there. You could suck that down. That's not the original uh, mono spring in the back. It is a mono spring originally, but as you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, there's several holes there, five or six. You can move them in and out. Uh, that whole piece was added. Again, that was another kit that I bought. Everything was uh, relatively cheap at the time not cheap uh, I guess it was kind of expensive at the time 700 bucks is 700 bucks but you know at the time it, it seemed like a, a decent deal but anyways uh, I, it, it's same idea you got the the whole you know you can move it in or out for for a softer ride and again that's a fiberglass uh, spring deal and then you can suck them uh, them bolts up and down to sink it in or raise it up so I just thought I'd show that just in case uh, somebody has an older car that wants to do, you know, I don't know, make it more tunable or something. But looking around, man, 
20 years ago I did this car. I know, what's with the gay blue uh, frame? I don't know, it's just what I did. Even my friend that painted the top part of it, he's like, why'd you paint your, your, your frame blue? I'm like, I gave him that, you know, little, like, like a young kid. I you know, I don't know why I did it, but I did it, and that's that. Yeah, but as you can see, it's already got rust going on. I say already, it's been 20 years, but it's not really rust, rust. It's just, you know, neglected. Anyways, that's all I got. I'm going to do an oil change here and grease everything up. And uh, look a few things over so the wife can use it again. That's all I got. Well, thanks for watching.